Hello and welcome to Sunset TV. I'm Brandon Winfrey, and let's prescribe you with a full dose of good old Sunset Overdrive. I watch Scrubs, so pretty much a doctor. Last week I said I was going to talk about character customization, but last week I lied because I'm a dirty liar, I guess. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to talk about some weapons, which is a form of customization if you think about it. If you disagree, too bad. You know, at Insomniac, we pride ourselves on making memorable and unique weapons, like the Rhino from Ratchet and Clank or the Bullseye from Resistance. I mean, weapons are kind of our thing, and to us, they're characters in themselves. So we set the bar pretty high for ourselves going into Sunset, and we want to create the best arsenal we've ever done. And we think we did. Let's look at a few. High Fidelity. Who knew the contents of your dad's basement and a hipster's wall could be so handy? What makes this weapon great is its ricochet, which creates the possibility of doing tons of damage to multiple enemies. It can just lodge itself in one enemy, but more often than not, it's going to bounce off them and sail towards the next. The randomness and possibility of each ricochet is what makes this weapon fun. Plus, at a higher style level, the records turn gold. Switch it up! Remember that creepy robot teddy bear in AI? Remember I used to fantasize about strapping it to a stick of dynamite and giggling as you watched the carnage of flames and cotton explode before your very eyes? Just me? Apparently. Well, whatever, because Sunset Overdrive lets me live that fantasy. The T and Teddy is great for taking out large packs of enemies. It has a generous damage radius, so even the guys on the outskirts of the blast are still going to feel the effect. It can also be shot a surprisingly long way. I mean, it has a nice arc, so if you're grinding and you fire it up into the air, you can actually hit enemies a few blocks away. Plus, sometimes you get to see a teddy bear face in the explosion. So cute, so painful. More like Teddy Bear, am I right? High five. High five. Email time! Cool guitar riff goes right here! Ah. We don't have a theme song yet, so I'm just um, experimenting. Kyle asks, is there more than one button for melee, and are there melee combos? Melee is only on one button, but you can augment it with amps. Plus, you can do massive ground slams and even melee while grinding. So while there isn't a combo system for melee per se, it is heavily customizable. Robert ponders, how will single player be different from multiplayer? Well, it's in a lot of ways, mainly that the single player has a huge campaign with tons and tons of side content to do. We'll get more into the story stuff soon. Thank you so much for watching Sunset TV. Got questions? Got insults? Shoot them to Sunset TV at insomniacgames.com and we'll blankly stare at them. Be sure to subscribe because next week we're going to talk about something I'm not committing to because look what happened last time. <laughs>